Hi everyone, it's Lehman with Lace Covered Skies, and I am here today to test out this light board. And you guys, many of you guys, let me know in my last, not my last video, but my unboxing video, that, um, sorry, I'm chewing some gum. So let me spit it out so it's not annoying in the video. <laughs> but you guys let me know that this was for diamond diamond painting so that totally makes sense and I do have a piece of diamond painting um, that I got from my buy nothing group so that's great because I can use this board but the lighting might look a little bit different in this video because it was causing too much reflection to have all of my lights completely over this so that's why it might seem to seem a little bit darker but we are going to be testing out this light board for the purposes of what I um, intended it to be for um, I have like a few different ideas for using this now including diamond painting but this is one of the ones that kind of made me want this so we're gonna try it today it comes with a cord right here and I plugged it into my charging block for my tablet so I use a tablet like just to watch things on while I'm working and it has a charger so this works in the same block which is great because I used to think like I have to you know plug something like this into a computer or a laptop but no, it works in a charging block. So we are going to turn this on and let me know if you guys have any questions about it. I will have it linked down below and I will have all of the things also linked down below that was in my last video or in my unboxing video. But the way this works is you plug it in and you hit this button right here and it gives three brightnesses. So let's see how it's gonna show up on, on camera. So that's level number one, level two, and level three. Let me see what happens if I turn off my lights. Did it make that much of it? Okay, I don't know which way is better. Let me try turning them both off probably better if I turn them off for you guys right so I'm gonna turn off my lights and we are going to try this light board off let me show you the three levels again it's the first or the lightest medium and brightest I am going to be just using a piece of semi heavy cardstock it's not that it's not that heavy but it is like definitely cardstock and we are going to be using this light box to um, emboss this paper This is a gray piece of cardstock and it's not really shining through as much as I thought it would. But let's just try, let's just try it. We'll try like a little corner or something. And what I am going to use to emboss, no way, it's not where it should be. Oh, it's right here. See, this is where it's so important to put things back where they belong. I thought I was going to have to shut down this video to go searching for this. <laughs> but this is like one of those nail dotting tools. I use it with my scoreboard. So let's go ahead and see what happens here. I think I want to pick an area that I like. So let's kind of do this. 
So I am basically just using this. Now I can't see all the details because this paper is darker than I thought it would be. But let's go ahead and try it. So I'm basically just going around and tracing the stencil that's underneath. It is actually really hard to see through. So I might have to switch to a lighter paper. Yeah, I can't, I can't see. All right, let me grab, see I wanted to use like a little bit of a thicker paper. Um, oh, okay. I have this cardstock here. See how much clearer that is? So, what I'm going to do is I am just going to go around and trace all the shapes. Super simple and easy to do, and also kind of meditative. Um, this is really good if you don't have a Sizzix Big Shot and you want to find an inexpensive way to emboss. Did I mention that? That's what we're doing here. We're embossing using a stencil. So this light box, I forgot how much it was, but it was not very expensive, or at least I thought it wasn't very expensive for what it is. Um, now this stencil does have a lot of detail, so it is a little more complex to do, but we'll see how it turns out in the end. As you can see, I'm not being very careful. And let's just see what kind of result we get at the end. And like I was saying, this is a great way to emboss if you don't want to invest in like a big shot or something. And the great thing about the stencils is that you can use them for multiple pur purposes. I'm doing a really bad job. <laughs> Yeah, so you just keep going and tracing all the different spots and you can skip the spots that you don't like. So I feel like it gives you a little more freedom than if you were just going to use an embossing folder. Of course that would be quicker. but. I hope you guys can see how the light box is looking in case you're thinking of getting this. Like, does it meet your needs? Is it what you thought it would look like? All right, I'm going to stop pretty soon because it would take forever to do everything. But let me see if I got the main, let me get these leaves. See, I'm like going out of the line. So let's see how forgiving or unforgiving this is. All right, I think I'm gonna stop there. I did kind of a lot. So I'm going to go ahead and turn this off and turn my other lights on.
And you guys can see how it turned out. I don't know if you can see already. Let me move this light back over here. Hopefully that's better lighting. All right, can you guys see the embossing right there? Isn't that cool? And all we did was trace. That's literally all we did. I, I missed a spot right here, but I just wanted to show you guys how simple it is to do this. And if you're wanting, let's say you diamond paint and you want a light box anyways, um, you could totally use it for this purpose as well. And especially if you already use stencils for other reasons. Um, I wanted to do this because I like some of the stencils that I have that I thought would be cool to emboss. And I saw some other stencils that I didn't get because I didn't want it for like coffee dyeing, which is what I use my stencils for mostly. But the design looked kind of cute if it was like embossed on something. So it kind of gives me more flexibility on how I can emboss and I love embossing. So I can't wait to use this for different um, purposes. And when I say that, I mean use embossing because um, for my grungy journals, I like to have more options in terms of texture. So I think this is gonna really um, let me do a lot more but yeah so that was the demonstration and review on this light box I really like it I think it's good for the price um, now as you saw with the, let me turn it on as you saw with this gray paper right here Like it didn't, it doesn't really show through. Of course I have the lights all on, but that's maybe something to think about. If you really want um, a bright, bright light box, this is not the brightest. So keep that in mind. But for my purposes, and I guess it's really mainly for diamond painting, but for my purposes, I think it's great. And it's great that it's a very low price. But that's the demonstration on this. I hope you guys found it informative and it gave you some ideas if you're thinking about getting something like this. Um, I will have it linked down below along with all of the other products from my last Timu unboxing. If you have any questions at all, please leave me a comment down below. And thank you so much for watching today, and I will talk to you next time. Bye, everyone.